The origin of the movie Aeroplane, also known as Flying High in some countries, dates back to the early 1970s when Jim Abrams and Zucker Brothers, Dave Zucker and Jerry Zucker, began working together on comedy projects. They had previously collaborated on a comedy troupe called Kentucky Fried Theater and gained recognition for their sketch comedy. The idea for Aeroplane originated from the Zucker Brothers' love for disaster movies, particularly the airport film series. They decided to create a spoof of these serious and dramatic films by injecting them with their signature brand of rapid-fire humor and irreverent satire. The trio, along with writer Pat Proft, began developing the script for Aeroplane. In the late 1970s, they crafted a screenplay that parodied the disaster movie genre, incorporating a wide range of jokes, puns, visual gags, and absurd situations. Their aim was to create a relentless barrage of comedy, often relying on wordplay, slapstick, and deadpan humor. To bring their vision to life, the Zucker Brothers and Jim Abrams secured funding from Paramount Pictures. They approached the film with a low-budget mindset, employing creative techniques to maximize humor while minimizing costs. They also assembled a talented cast, including Leslie Nielsen, Robert Hayes, Julia Haggerty, and Lloyd Bridges, who embraced the film's comedic style. Released on July 2, 1980, Airplane was an immediate success. It became a box office hit, receiving positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The film's innovative parody and rapid-fire comedic style helped redefine the spoof genre, paving the way for future comedies. Airplane remains a classic in the comedy genre known for its quotable lines, memorable characters, and non-stop humor. It is often regarded as one of the funniest films ever made, and has had a lasting impact on comedy filmmaking, inspiring countless spoofs and parodies over the years.